How to establish communication between two VPCs in AWS? To begin with, we have two VPCs, demo VPC1 and demo VPC2. Be aware that if you want to connect VPC1 to VPC2, you need to have different CIDR range. CIDR of the first VPC must be different than CIDR of the second VPC. And we have two instances, instance 1 and instance 2. Each instance is deployed into one VPC. Instance 1 belongs to VPC 1. Instance 2 belongs to VPC 2. For the demo purposes, we have only public subnets in both of the VPC. In VPC 1, we have two subnets. In VPC 2, we have also two public subnets. Both of the VPC have one internet gateway and one single route table. This is of course for demo purposes only, but you can extend this tutorial to as many subnets and route tables as you wish. To demonstrate the connection, we go to the first instance, we connect via session manager. This instance has an IAM role with Amazon SSM Manage Instance Core, so we can be able to connect via SSM. And from this first instance, we will ping first to see that we have internet access. And we have. We go back and we connect to the second instance. The second instance has exactly the same IAM role with the same Amazon SSM Manage Instance Core policy and we are able to connect to the internet. Now, from the first instance, we will try to ping the private IP of the second instance. Let's take the private IP from the second instance and let's try to ping from the first instance. As you can see, we cannot. It will time out with 100% packet loss. That means that we don't have private communication. Let's try from the second instance to ping the first instance. As we can see, the result is the same. We cannot communicate privately. To establish proper communication, we go to VPC. We go to peering connection. We create a peering connection. Let's just say demo connection we need to select the VPC ID requester so we will select our first VPC we will then select the VPC ID acceptor and of course this is doable also with another account or another region for us everything is happening in only one region and we will create the peering connection the peering connection will be in pending acceptance until we will decide to accept. We'll click Actions, Accept Request. After the peering connection is in active state, we will need to modify also the route table for our VPCs. Go to the route table, select the first one of the first VPC, we'll click Edit Routes, Add Route and we will put the CIDR of the second VPC remember this is the route that belongs to the first VPC and we will put the CIDR of the second VPC and as a target we will select the peering connection and we will have to do the same for the second VPC edit routes, add route, but now we will put the CIDR of the first VPC. And now that we have also our route in place, let's test the private connectivity. From the first instance, let's ping the second instance. As we can see, we have private connectivity successfully from the first to the second instance. Let's try from the second instance to the first one. As we can see, also works from this side. 
so now we successfully picked these two VPCs together. And now you know.